out now, instead of looking on in horror, I can appreciate it. It really is outstanding. Had a few beers, enjoyed some fireworks. Oh, got the car running so I can charge the phone. Naturally, not doing that right this second, but it's another windy, kind of cloudy day. So it's a day when I can go do something, but I don't want to do a uh, black rock lookout, right? Because wind. Oh, but I got, I'm getting, uh, I've got kind of a fog going on. Getting pretty tired. This is day 10. I've taken one day off so far. I am going to get my butt out there because I feel like it's going to be raining someday and that's when I want to take a day off. I don't want to take it off now. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to get some social in, right? I mean, not really talking to too many people out here and stuff, so it's nice that they, uh, you know, a couple of nights ago when I, uh, was coming back from Hulu Hall. I was, you know, hiking in the rain and they assumed I was completely wet and they weren't wrong. Then uh, they invited me over, had a couple of beers and yeah. So that's how that kind of happened. And uh, yeah, it's been nice. I mean, I don't have much in common with these guys, but hey, you know, still kind of fun. Alrighty. To the trail guide again, volume three. I'm gonna finish off this Annie Ghost stuff, all the number tens. So I'm gonna do that one. Hold the field viewpoint. So I'm gonna go up uh, Indian Springs. Actually, I'm gonna go up this one first. I'm gonna take this little trail across Indian Springs. I'm gonna come up here, up 10A, and I go up 10B and up to here which I'm pretty sure I already saw when I was doing 13A and I got way off track and I ended up down at this cut line. And then I think I came up here and came up here. But, uh, you know, I'll go and explore the area a bit and uh, finish 10B off. That'll finish all the Annie Ghosts, that big mess. So that's kind of cool. Oh man, I'm just dragging my butt out the door. It's not a great day out, it's pretty windy. I'm tired, my body's tired. I've been doing this for, yeah. I've hiked eight days out of nine. But it's a good day to go into the trees where the wind is gonna get at me as much and rattle off some trails, so. Get her done, don't wanna waste a day. For all I know, tomorrow is gonna be pouring rain. Okay, this is a small hill. This is apparently the small hill parking area, even though there's actually nowhere to really park, except for just pull off on the grass. And I've been told that at the top of this thing, I'm gonna get reception, so let's see what happens. After that, I'm gonna take off down this trail. Well, there's a bit of a spot up here, and uh, someone has a good sense of humor. <laughs> oh God. That's a good one. I've never seen that one before. Now, I had to climb all the way to the top, even past that site, but I did get reception. I sent out some messages, so now I can, I don't have to use my inReach. And I had, uh, I looked up the weather and it's, disheart it's disheartening. Weather's not been good. It's not been horrible, but it's not been good. And, there's like two or three days of partly cloudy sun. And then it's like four or five days of thunder, thunderstorms, scattered thunderstorms, isolated thunderstorms. 
gross. Yeah, I don't entirely know what to do with that, so. Anyway. So this trail straight would be 10 Alpha. This one is kind of a connector trail over to Indian Springs. And that's the one I want to do. I'll get over there and I'll use that to connect up to the other end of 10 Alpha, which would make it a lot less work to reach the trailhead for 10 Bravo. All right. Joined up with the Indian Springs Trail. That's not a bad little uh, crisscrossing trail there. You climb a little bit, then it's all nice and flat. So, a pleasant walk through the forest. Well, that is Indian Springs. I found that my first full day here hiking after some difficulties. Over here is a nice campsite. I like that water actually. I think that's going to work. So when I come back through here, and I am coming back through here, fill up with three liters, that'll save me potentially from heading down to the river to pick up water. I am definitely taking the long way around and doing it this way. I could go, could have gone straight up 10 Alpha, but there's plenty of elevation that I just don't care to do. And this is nice, easy walking. And this rocky part here is about as bad as it ever gets. Usually it's just nice, like, uh, you know, just up here. Yeah, so more kilometers, but much nicer walking and perfect for a wind day, right? The wind comes up, I don't care. I'm in the trees. Go ahead and blow your brains out. Ah, broken out of the trees. This is the intersection. Keep going down that way. It's trail number nine. And uh, beautiful meadows like this for like two or three kilometers now this way is the way I'm gonna go I haven't seen it yet so hopefully I get this view for a little while that'd be pretty cool not bad these are kind of arranged in kind of a weird way but one on top of the pimple is definitely Blackstone Mountain I think the one to the right is Blackstone Nub one of them and I think this guy here is Annie Ghost Craig Not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is an impressive skull. It must be a horse. I mean, they look like frickin' dinosaurs. But like, look at all this too, like, man. Oh yeah, there's the hoof. It's definitely a horse. I wonder what happened to it out here. Broke its leg or something? Man. Not very, not very often you see something that, that well put together. I'm wrong, that's Andy Ghost Craig. I think that's uh, actually Black Rock Nub there. And then across is the other nub. Ooh, climb those, that was the, it's a good workout and challenge. Gotta say, I'm glad I came this way. It's just been nice. Nice walking through meadows so far. And now I get a pretty decent shot of this guy too. Cannot complain. Well, I came from down here. You see the track gets pretty faded, right? It's just a few like tracks of vehicles or whatever. It kind of goes down there, but then there's also there's also this, and you know, Jillian's the book, the, the guide describes it from the other way, so it doesn't really give you details on this. So I'm not too sure. I'll head up here and hope for the best, I guess. Hopefully, it turns left and climbs, that's what it should do. Now well, just a little bit in, this is pretty swampy looking. And it says nothing in the guide about this becoming kind of swampy, so. Starting to think this is wrong. I'll keep heading up that way and see hope. I right. find something a little different. 
Well, I came across this little camp spot, which is pretty baller. You know, there's even winnie roasting sticks hanging out here. So it looks like it's uh, definitely been used this year. Well used. This makes, uh, makes a few new problems for me. I mean, the track does keep going, sorta, but I mean, in the Kananaskis Trail Guide, it talks about how the Indian Springs Trail is 400 meters away. So you can just kind of go rip through the forest and get to it. According to my app now, I am 200 meters away. So now I'm starting to think that that little track back there, that actually was it, even if it is kind of swampy. Now, you know, I found it's gonna be real easy to cut through here and get back to the Indian Springs. So that's probably gonna cut like at least two kilometers off my walkings. So nothing wrong with that. You know, the camp is just down there. I only did a couple of hundred meters down there. Let's try this again. The exact wording in the guide is grassy underfoot. Well, that certainly is grassy, so hopefully very shortly it climbs. And then I'll know I'm on the right one. All right, then I lasted like maybe 50 to 100 meters. Now it becomes a much more real thing. Awesome, I think I'm on the right way. Okay, came from back there. I'm at an intersection, so I think that is the continuation of 10A. And I think this is uh, trailhead for 10B, which is the one I was after, so awesome. Oh, Lord. So right away, there is another trail heading up this way. Dirt bikes make a lot of trails. So Kathanaskis Guide says nothing about it. So I think the best way is to just keep heading north which is the way that they say to go so just keep going straight well, i've already got problems i've been going for 10 minutes so i'm supposed to do a creek crossing i haven't seen that and then the trail is supposed to be kind of obliterated by tall grass okay well that sort of happened over there one of the tracks kind of went in and i don't know beat around in there i kept going down here down a worse track. So now there's another part where people have gone in with their dirt bikes and stuff. And then if you keep going down here, it's, I mean, it becomes almost a game trail at this point. And I don't think this is, I'm not sure this is the trail anymore, right? So, oh, what the hell? Where'd this come from? Is this it? All right, so. Maybe I lost the trail? I don't know. All right, I'll follow this for a while. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that trail went a little bit and then it turned try, trying to go back through this again. All right. Maybe I will... Ugh. Ugh. There's supposed to be something like this with a white flag on the other side, but... Yeah, I think I'm getting my feet wet across this. Ugh. So I crossed. Now I found a bit of something here, not much. I went walking up and down there a little bit and trying to find some kind of proper trail and I can't seem to find anything. Yeah, and I really don't have anything in here. So I don't have any trail. I guess maybe I should have turned left back at that intersection. And now I'm literally just bushwhacking. Well, okay, here's a bit of an indent. Gross. Most important thing here is that I am making uh, breadcrumbs on my phone so that I don't get just hopelessly lost. I can, uh, battle my way back and it's all flat right now so that's wouldn't be any problem but uh yeah a lot of problems right right quick on this one thank goodness kind of saw this open area here we have a bit of a stream i did cross a bit of a stream through that last little marshy spot but i don't know that might have been or may not have been the one that joe referred to 
So there's a marshy, there's a stream and kind of a marshy area. Maybe I can re-intercept the trail in here. Gee, these are not friendly looking plants. This is not something you want to walk through barrel-legged. Here you got this guy and you got this big kind of berm all along it. So I'd say this is definitely man-made to redirect the water. Here you got an open space, so that's probably an old sawmill spot. Right, a spot with water in that? I doubt it. I wonder if I can go find anything. And there's piles of trees and yeah. Kind of a cool place. I bet very few people know this place exists. All right, well, I've marked that off on the old phone. At the very end of it, there's a trail slash game trail, whatever. I'll follow that for a while. I was unable to find any kind of real trail on that one, so. All right, well, I didn't find any trail. I just realized that my chances of finding it were almost nothing once I got out of that meadow, that uh, maybe sawmill site. And I've done enough bushwhacking out here. So I came back to where the, this thing kind of forked off into that meadow, into that swamp. Here's the uh, intersection that I have found. Now I found a kind of a, a small trail heading along that swamp that I didn't try. This one goes the same damn direction. So you know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's go try this out. I came out here to do a trail. I'm not gonna bushwhack. I'm gonna find a damn trail. If it brings me where, not where I wanted to go, hey, you know, at least I, at least I get nice walking on something like this instead of whatever the hell, you know, just traipsing through the forest. Okay, crossing a creek. Maybe I'm actually on the correct trail now. Who knows? Well, this thing crossed another creek. I never did get to kind of a tall grass. Like the tall grass is supposed to eat this thing. And then you find some white flagging on the other side. I never got to that. But I am climbing and I'm going generally in the right direction of the trail, so see what happens. Still seems like this is going where I need to go and now it's widened right out to like the size of a cut line or an old road or something. Well, just maybe climb up a big one, but with the climb comes a reward. We're climbing. Oh, that was a lot of climb, but here we are. You can see Calgary a little bit down there. And like I thought, here is the road that I took my backpack up, went up here when I was hopelessly trying to figure out uh, 13A. Well, that that day, that hike, backpack, that put me in my place. I might have to do that again one day. Oh, anyway, I'll hike up here again. Go see that viewpoint. Be reminded of the the that feeling when I got to there and realized how much I had left. And uh, yeah. <laughs> And here we go. I had had a long day already. I was wet. Really trying hard to get back to the car before dark. And I walked up here like this. <laughs> I knew I had to get through one of these two. So I did, I just went tearing down there and I probably ended up sleeping about there-ish. I had to throw the tent down. Oh, well now, instead of looking on in horror, I can appreciate it. It really is outstanding.
that there is uh, Enviros Lake. And just down here and all these, that's basically where I was walking. So you can see that this, this hike has a few teeth. Oh. We're at the top of my, uh, my poles that are full of pollen. Green dust, that's kind of funny. Well, that's it, Andy goes Craig. Seven trails on the Andy Ghost, and I have done them all. Proud accomplishment. It's a complete mess of trails, let me tell you. And uh, yeah, now I just gotta get myself back. Look at my shoes too. They're coated in green. It's the first time I've seen that happen. I've been out here 10 days. What was I walking through that was special? All right, goodbye views into the forest for, well, many kilometers till I get to the meadow and then I'm back in the forest again till I get to the car. Okay, I'm back at the intersection. So, we head up here, there's some boggy areas, there's three creek crossings and then there's a lot of climbing up to that little grassy section and then there's the exploration road that you turn left on. I think what may have happened was, I mean, since the guide has been out 2015, that maybe dirt bikers decided to make this and it reconnects up with the trail somewhere. Instead of going down here and, you know, going through some meadow looking for white tape, all that stuff, I never, it never happened on, on the trail that I just took. So, and I ended up in the same place. So, like I said, there's about 50, 60 feet, meters, or 75 meters of swamp, but quite easily you can just sidestep it in the forest, right? It's not hard. All right, I'm going to head down to this camp, and then I'll keep following, you know, kind of the road, and uh, cut over to Indian Springs Trail, cut a bunch of kilometers off. Man, the other side of that camp, I actually found a trail. Beautiful, and it's bringing me right to Indian Springs Trail, so that is fantastic. Awesome. Obviously a horse trail. Well, I'm guessing I just saved myself about a kilometer and a half, so that's quite nice. All right, back to Indian Springs. Well, I got back here. Now it's time to get some food in me and plan out things for tomorrow because I think I've made some pretty big decisions. So the weather is showing garbage. Um, for the next, you know, like it's fine for the next few days and then garbage for like six, seven days. Like, ugh. So tomorrow I'm going to take off on my backpack. The nice thing about it is, you know, I mean, the farthest I ever get on this backpack is about 10, 12 kilometers from here. Mostly it's hike somewhere and then day hike something. And there's lots of stuff to day hike. So if it's life has just become miserable, like it just will not stop raining, it's everything soaked and I'm just done. I just pack up and I come back here. I'm, I'm within a day's hike, easy. So no worries. And the weather I looked at was Cochrane. So maybe I'll get lucky. And it won't be as bad, right? Maybe, maybe not. Well, I'm pretty tired. I've been hiking or backpacking nine days out of 10 over here. And now here I am gearing up for a backpack tomorrow. I'll just do what I can. It's a seven day plan on this backpack, but I can make it five if I'm willing to pull some long days, so. And I mean, time's against me, right? The bad weather's coming, so. Got to get done whatever I can, as quick as I can. Yeah, well, good night.